Hey, how are you doing? Holmes here, and welcome back to some more God of War Ragnarok boss guide. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to take down the two knights from Asgard that's in Alfheim. So, at the start here, we're going to use our ranged uh, runic attack just to get some damage off here. And then we're going to keep throwing our spear to pile it up on this guy. Get be careful because once it gets close to you, yeah, it's going to warp in like that. So, dodge sideways to avoid that swing. This. Uh, red ring attack will send down the Bifrost attack from the sky, so you can dodge it by rolling sideways. Uh, yellow ring attacks have delays, so be careful. Like that. So, yeah, get ready to... Uh, well, don't, like, parry too early. And watch the stun meter on this guy. Once it fills up like that, alright? Don't execute them right away, get some more damage in first when the stun is about to run out, then execute so you can maximize your damage. Um, the Bifrost attack, it has a move where it can like do it three times, so be careful. And it also has a red ring attack that uh, you can dodge through the initial swing and then you block the rest and then when, when the red ring pops up again, then you can dodge through it again. Uh, blue ring attack. You can shield bash it a stun amount of it. The red ring like spin attacks is what's most dangerous in my opinion. Uh, that's why I want to focus down the the hammer knight or whatever you want to call these guys. The hammer strikers. So yeah, there we go. Focus them down. Uh, if the red ring spin attack catches you, I believe it's a one shot. So watch out for that. And now we all we have is the the scythe one, and this is pretty much like the one we fought in the campaign. So who caught me with the red ring attack there? Almost killed me. That uh, was a close one. I'm pretty sure if this was on a higher difficulty, it would have killed me. So yeah, um, stab attack and parry it. We're just stunning him like great. Same DLC. When we got the stun, we didn't execute him right away. We just did some more damage to him. Uh, red ring attacks, you can just dodge through it. But so watch out for the follow ups. Like, if you can block it, block it. If it's red rings, just don't block it. <laughs> the stabbing attack. I noticed the initial stab. You have to dodge it or parry it. Because if you try to block it, it'll just go right through you. Like, it'll go right through a shield and it'll clip you so be careful and then that AOE stab to the ground attack and dodge by rolling backwards see you can you have to dodge that one you can't just block it I tried and you guys saw it it, it got me <laughs> so yeah careful about that uh, especially if you're playing on like I said higher difficulty I'm playing this on normal difficulty I may go back on a later date to attempt it on give me God of War again but for now I kind of want to just See the post game without getting stuck at a location for possibly an hour or more <laughs> because of the difficulty. And also, man, like some of the contents that they got going on here, there's like major difficulty spikes. Even when it comes to regular enemy mobs, like sometimes they're just straight to wreck you. Like it's crazy. But yeah, uh, here are my equipment setups levels. And here are my armor levels and setups. And that's pretty much it. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Skill setups. And here is the, the save to show that this is on normal difficulty. There you go. And let me show you guys where the boss is at. Or this challenge, whatever. On the map. And yeah. Uh, that's basically it. Hope this helps and uh, <laughs> Thank you all so very much for watching and I hope to catch y'all next time. Ohms out